Smart tasks are a great way to automate common, multi-step activities, such as a process for following up with customers. Smart tasks consist of a template, security settings and schedule, as well as task steps that define what actions should be executed, such as sending an email or updating a field in the database. Smart task templates may be created, managed, and run by administrator or manager users. Standard users may edit existing templates and run smart tasks. To manage smart tasks, select the schedule menu and then manage smart tasks. The manage smart tasks dialog box contains two tabs. The templates tab where you can view details about existing templates as well as their component steps. From here you can create, edit, or delete a smart task. The status tab provides a list of tasks and shows whether they are pending, running, or completed. To view information about a specific task, from the templates tab, select that task. With it selected, you can view several details. For instance, you can view if the auto run property has been enabled to ensure that the task runs at a designated time. This allows you to have a task run based on a trigger, such as when a field is updated or at a specific time of day. Auto run tasks may run whether you are logged into ACT or not. To run tasks in the background though, you'll need to set up the smart task service and you'll notice the icon to the left of the template indicates that the auto run has been enabled for this task. To edit template properties, click the template and then click edit. Here you'll see all of the details of the task. Note that new smart tasks can be triggered to run manually, at a scheduled time, or when certain predefined conditions are met. Once you have the general properties of the template defined, you can then add specific steps to the task. In this example, for opportunities closed in one, the task will wait seven days and then schedule a follow-up call on the account manager's calendar. You can add additional steps, such as scheduling an activity, sending an email, even integrating with eMarketing. Once you've created your templates, and the individual steps, just close the Smart Tasks Manager. To run a Smart Task manually on a current list of contacts, start by looking up a set of contacts. This is a list of contacts we haven't contacted in the last 90 days. Now you can click Schedule and Run Smart Task and select a task to run. We're going to select our task contacts with no recent activity. You can then select the contacts that you would like this smart task to apply to. We'll use our current lookup and then whether or not you want the previously defined conditions to apply. Then click Run. We get a notification that the smart task has been successfully started and then the pending smart task steps dialog box appears where you can select a specific step to preview, to run, or delete. You can also select Show Details for more information about each step. To complete the activity, click Close and the Smart Task Steps will begin. If you ever need to go back and view pending Smart Tasks from the Schedule menu, click Show Pending Smart Task Steps to see all pending Smart Tasks. As we've seen, Smart Tasks enable you to automate tasks that may contain one or multiple steps. If you'd like to automate customer management tasks such as sending follow-up emails, updating fields when contact information changes, or other routine tasks, use a Smart Task.